So, you've decided to take the IELTS exam. Well done. Our expertise is your opportunity. Here we look at the criteria of grammatical range and accuracy. This is one of four criteria on which you will be tested. Look for the other three criteria in other videos. This criteria focuses on the range and accuracy of the grammar demonstrated by the test taker. For grammatical range, consider whether what you are describing is something that happened in the past, use past tenses, is happening in the present, use similar present tenses, or is predicting the future. Use a variety of future tenses. Sometimes you can use a combination of these different tenses. For example, when analyzing an IELTS Task 1 diagram, note the time period being described and use the matching tenses when describing the information. Demonstrating a range of written grammar might also mean using some of these tenses – comparatives, conditionals, modal verbs, and the passive tense especially for Task 1 process descriptions. Look for our Speaking and Grammar download for examples of all these tenses. It's important to learn and practice a variety of grammatical tenses. In all writing tasks, also use a variety of complex structures. Complex structures are sentences with multiple bits of information. A simple sentence usually has a single piece of information. When you practice writing, transform simple sentences into more complex sentences by adding more information to the sentence. For example, ask yourself some WH questions to see what else you can add to the original sentence. For instance, these days everyone has a mobile phone. Think to yourself, who, what, why? These days, people of all generations have mobile phones, especially smartphones, because you can do so many things with them. In your writing, there should be a balance of simple and complex sentences. In addition, punctuation can change meaning. For instance, we got in through the window which someone had left open. We got in through the window which someone had left open. Students aren't expected to be 100% accurate in their writing. However, control is important. Some grammatical errors impact communication more than others. You will be scored according to the impact of errors on communication rather than on the number of mistakes. Leave time at the end of writing to identify and correct errors. You will always find grammar or spelling mistakes. Correcting these can improve your score. See the grammar checklist in the accompanying download. For more information, please see the other writing test videos, Coherence and Cohesion, Lexical Resource, and Grammatical Range and Accuracy.